So, what have I been telling you uh, for the past three years? That workers' rights are on the chopping block after Brexit, and oh look, watch this. Boris Johnson's new Brexit chief wants to scrap Theresa May's commitment on workers' rights. David Frost suggested that Brexit could be an opportunity to escape the EU's heavy labour market regulation. <laughs> you know, I, I, me and other people um, have been saying this pretty much since day one. This has been their aim. And I've been telling you since day one, Brexit is all about getting rid of these regulations. Because these people, um, you know, they make millions, billions, and basically if you get rid of these regulations, it allows them to create an extra million. Essentially, that's it. <laughs> and here we are, uh, at this stage. And... Will these Brexiteers that voted for Brexit fight against this? <laughs> I've said, guys, um, what was coming... And it's often funny when you talk, when I've talked to Brexiteers and you talk about this stuff out of context of Brexit, they're all against it. This is not what they want. But when you bring Brexit into it and you say, no, this is what Brexit's going to do, they all, all of a sudden say, oh, no, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. And now, with these people in power, that's exactly what's going to happen. So here we go into the article. So Boris Johnson's new Brexit chief warn, uh, wants to scrap Theresa May's commitment to protect British workers' rights and has suggested that Brexit is an opportunity to escape the EU's heavy uh, labour market regulation the Independent can reveal. Just two months ago, David Frost said that he was opposed to the approach advocated by leaders of both major political parties and argued that the EU rights should be automatically uh, written into law after Brexit. Mr Frost, former Chief Executive of the London Chamber of Commerce and Industry, was appointed last week by Mr Johnson's, uh, by Mr Johnson to replace Ollie Robbins as Downing Street's EU Chief, a role that will see him leading any future talks with Brussels. Business organisations have often in the past criticised the EU's drift towards heavy labour market regulation, Mr Frost said in May 2019, in an article uh, reproduced for the London Chamber of Commerce and Industry website. So I, will, uh, so I will take some persuading. It will be good to come out if the EU is able to set uh, new uh, UK labour market rules without any UK say as currently seems to be envisaged by the leaders of both major political parties. Theresa May committed the government to maintaining the current level of European workers' rights and also went further, legislating for Parliament to automatically be given votes on staying aligned with the bloc's rules when future legislation emerges. The dynamic alignment plans were unveiled by the government in a failed bid to get Labour MPs to back the withdrawal agreement. Additionally, during the transition period included in the withdrawal agreement, the UK would have to accept rights with no say at all, uh, as rejected by Mr Frost. Brussels has also suggested that the UK would have to stay aligned with future EU workers' rights as well as environmental and social legislation. Uh, the past the end of the transition period, if it wants a trade agreement. Chief Negotiator Michel Barnier has said that the bloc would seek... Uh, uh, non non regression clauses to ensure that Britain does not backslide on any rules and try to undercut its neighbours. Commenting on uh, the officials' views, the TUC General uh, Francis O'Grady said that Boris Johnson's claims that he had intended to enhance rights uh, at work at to work after Brexit, he said that his advisers should be focused on delivering that promise but instead they're threatening a catastrophic no deal that would strip away existing legal protections and leave essential rights open to attack. Working people must not be dragged off the cliff uh, without getting a final say. A UK government spokesperson said, 
quote, the UK has a leading world record in protecting workers' rights, uh, setting the highest standard and a uh, labour market we can be proud of, with more people in work than ever before. Um, a lot of people are on zero-hour contracts, which massively skews that uh, statistic, but <laughs> never mind. We are determined to maintain this record of leadership after we leave the EU, with or without a deal. In an email to the EU member state diplomats revealed on Monday, the new Downing Street EU advisor, a former diplomat who has worked in Brussels, warned that they should not underestimate his new boss, Mr Johnson. In his first contact with his counterparts after taking the job, he told the EU government should quote, be in no doubt about the new administration's commitment to leaving the EU on the 31st of October. I will strive for the substantive issues of the day, uh, other than uh, to note Prime Minister uh, Johnson's statement in Parliament last week, which sets out our approach to underlining that you should be in no doubt about this government's commitment to the 31st of October deadline. He said in an email to uh, member state diplomats. I would also add that many people are inclined to underestimate Boris Johnson, and I would urge you not to do so. Mr Frost also hailed his uh, predecessor, who said he, quote, deserved better than the personal criticisms he had received in the press. I would like to conclude with a tribute to Ollie. It is obvious that his new government does not take the same view as his predecessor on Brexit policy, but it should not distract from the fact that he has worked tirelessly over the last three years to implement the mandate he was given and has come to quite a lot of personal criticism as a result, he wrote, last, he wrote in the email last, which was sent last week. He deserved better, and I know that Prime Minister Johnson appreciates his service and wishes him well for what's to come next. Mr Robbins came to be disliked by some Brexiteers who considered the civil servant to be working to frustrate Brexit. Criticism came, ahead, uh, criticism came to a head after he was overheard in a hotel bar in Brussels outlining parts of the government's strategy to get its withdrawal agreement through the House of Commons. Speaking in the Commons last week, the new Prime Minister, Mr Johnson, said that he would uh, not conduct any further Brexit talks with the European Union unless it agreed to drop the controversial Irish border backstop, which, by the way, was put in by Brexiteer Michael Gove. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is something that we invented, the UK government, not the uh, EU. <laughs> but there you go. Um... The EU has reportedly said that it would stand by its policy and that there is that it is prepared for a no-deal Brexit. In the Commons on Thursday, Mr Johnson told MPs that workers' rights would not only be protected after, after Brexit, but with the, quote, freedoms that it will obtain. And that's where you should be worried. The UK would, quote, where necessary, be able to enhance protections. And there you have it, folks. Um, if we do leave on October 31st with no deal, uh, we are going to have to fight to defend our workers' rights. And we are also going to have to have a hell of a fight on our hands to try and actually enhance them. Because Johnson doesn't give a damn about workers' rights. But there you go.